Hey guys, welcome back. Charles Damiano from the Bruce Lee Collection for another exciting episode. In this episode, we're going to be continuing on with the Bruce Lee Kung Fu Monthly Poster Magazines Part 4. And if you guys missed Part 1, 2, and 3, I'll include them on the links above so you can catch up on this beautiful series. Now, there were 79 issues in all that came out with these beautiful poster magazines out of the United Kingdom. Unlike the United States versions, there was 32 issues which came out in 76. These came out in 73 and went all the way through 1979, 1980 and we're up to part four and we're going to be showing here today numbers 31 through 40. Not only will we be going through the magazine and showing some of the pictures inside, which a lot of the fans suggested we do because they want to see the contents inside, but we'll also be opening them up to display, once again, the beautiful Bruce Lee posters that this magazine series gave us and that we were all excited about as kids as we picked these up on the newsstand. So with no further ado, let's get right to it. Starting with issue number 31, which has a beautiful cover of Bruce Lee from the set of Enter the Dragon. Looks like a behind the scenes shot with a beautiful brown suede coat. And as you open this issue up, we have a couple of really nice pictures inside. The first one is a nice image of Bruce Lee from Fists of Fury standing on the dock as he just arrives to Thailand. And then as you open it up a little further, Remember, these were poster magazines, so they were folded, but they opened up into beautiful posters. You have here a little display of Bruce Lee utilizing the nunchucks from the movie Chinese Connection. And as you open it up further, and this is what we all got excited about to see this beautiful poster. The first poster that they graced us with at issue number 31 was this beautiful headshot of Bruce Lee from the movie Fists of Fury which I saw as a kid back in 1973 while Bruce was still alive back in the Jefferson Theater on 14th Street and 3rd Avenue. Where did you see your first Bruce Lee movie? Please share with the fans below and leave a comment. So this is issue number 31 guys, beautiful poster of Bruce Lee from Fists of Fury. Let's see what 32 has in store for us. Here we go, here we go. By the way, I am missing item number 32 which I'm really disappointed about. So if any of you fans out there, I know there's a lot of UK collectors who have this whole collection one through 79. I unfortunately am missing number 32 and would love to add that to my collection. So if any of you guys have an extra, I'll be glad to do a trade with you or purchase it from you because I have a lot of doubles and triples of the other numbers, but I'm missing 32. So let's skip that and go with issue number 30. Three. And this one shows a beautiful cover with Bruce Lee from the movie Chinese Connection with the white suit that he had on. And as you open it up, you see this nice image of Bruce Lee with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar from Game of Death. And as you open it up a little further, you come across a couple of more fun images of Bruce Lee. Two looks like on the set of Enter the Dragon and another image of Bruce Lee from the Game of Death in his iconic yellow jumpsuit. Now let's open this baby up and see the poster inside of issue number 33. And here they grace us with a beautiful shot of Bruce Lee from Enter the Dragon in the mirror scene. One of my favorite scenes of that movie and this scene was put together beautifully. At first, Bruce wasn't too keen on utilizing all the mirrors, but I think once he got in the room, I heard he got very excited about it. And as we know now, it became a classic within the movie Enter the Dragon. So there you got beautiful shot of Bruce Lee in the mirror room of Enter the Dragon. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Issue number 34, another beautiful shot of Bruce Lee in the black cat suit from Enter the Dragon. As you open it up, you got a nice picture of him here in Chinese Connection, sitting with actress Nora Mao. And as you open it up a little further, you'll come across this nice spread of Bruce Lee from Return of the Dragon. I think they used this image in one of the previous poster magazines. And here he is with the Leaning Tower of P Pisa behind him as he filmed Return of the Dragon in Rome. So let's open this baby up and see this beautiful poster inside. And in issue number 34, they graced us with 
this beautiful shot of Bruce Lee from the Chinese connection in no other the famous school scene where he comes into the Japanese school and just takes on and brutalizes the entire Japanese school. A scene that propelled him and made him a legend in my eyes. What do you guys think of this scene? Was this your favorite scene in Chinese Connection? Please leave a comment below or share with us what one of your other favorite scenes were from this incredible Bruce Lee movie. Let's move on to issue number 35, guys. Here we go, issue number 35 of these beautiful UK poster magazines. Number 35 features an image of Bruce Lee, once again, from Fists of Fury. It's funny, in a lot of the earlier issues, they utilized a lot of photos of Enter the Dragon, and now they're kind of featuring Bruce from some of his other films, which are really nice to see. And the reason I love the second half of these United Kingdom poster magazines is all these other issues are very unlike the ones that came out in the United States. So these are really original, the covers, the posters. So very excited to own this uh, entire series outside of issue number 32, which I hope one of you guys can get for me so I can complete my collection. So let me know if you guys have that and can share that with me. So here we go, let's open this baby up. Beautiful scene of Bruce Lee in the dungeon from Enter the Dragon. And as you open it up a little further, you have Bruce Lee here and a beautiful shot of him in the mirror room. And as you open it up even further, we come across this beautiful poster. And here they used the image that they use on the cover of him arriving to Thailand, meeting I believe it was his uncle for the first time where he's gonna be working in an ice factory and there goes Bruce sporting the white shirt which he made iconic in this film. So there we go, issue number 35. Let's see what the next post has. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Issue number 36, beautiful shot of Bruce Lee from Chinese Connection with the blue long kung fu outfit which he didn't have in the movie or wear in the movie and he has the slick back hair. So obviously this is a publicity photo that they used on this cover on number 36. And as we open it up, you have a nice little shot of Bruce Lee here from Enter the Dragon. And as you open it up even further, you have him sporting his beautiful tan outfit. Again, it looks like a photo shoot that they had going with Bruce Lee at that time. And let's open this baby up to see the beautiful poster that's inside. Because I know you guys are excited to see these as much as I am. And they went with the beautiful shot of Bruce Lee in the full outfit sporting the long navy blue kung fu attire. Look at that with the slick back hair. What a beautiful poster this is. Now let's move on to the next one and see what Kung Fu Monthly UK has in store for us. Item number 37, a beautiful shot of Bruce Lee from Enter the Dragon. And as you open it up, you come across a few other shots, hopefully of Bruce Lee. Uh, here goes a few of Bruce Lee from Chinese Connection, but here they have a shot of David Carradine. Obviously, we know that David Carradine uh, got the role for uh, Kung Fu, which uh, Bruce Lee originally was supposed to be casted for, which didn't sit well uh, with Bruce. And I think that was one of the reasons that propelled him to go to uh, Hong Kong to make his first uh, two movies to see if he could break into the film industry going via the uh, overseas route and then coming back to the United States, which he did. And if you open this up, you got the beautiful poster of Bruce Lee and Han squaring off from Enter the Dragon, as you can see here in the iconic mirror room. Let's move on to the next poster. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. Issue number 38, coming down to the last three. I have a beautiful shot here of Bruce Lee from the movie Return of the Dragon, also known overseas as Way of the Dragon. Again, as you open this up, let's see what they have inside. Oh, I love this. The opening scene of Bruce Lee and Enter the Dragon with the finger gloves. What an amazing scene that was where he was fighting Sammo Hung. And as you open it up even further, you got a little uh, image here of Bruce Lee in the opening scene of Enter the Dragon where he's uh, sitting down with his, uh, with his uncle and they're sharing uh, the story of him going to uh, the island of Han and he finds out that his sister was murdered, which didn't sit well with Lee. And as you open this up even further, let's see the beautiful poster they used inside here, guys. And it is the same one that is on the cover. This beautiful shot of Bruce Lee, one of my favorite posters from Return of the Dragon. Look at that, guys. What an awesome poster that is. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Coming down to the last two issues. Issue number 39 out of 79, where we're displaying here today the beautiful posters that were inside these magnificent United Kingdom Kung Fu Monthly poster magazines. Here we got Bruce on the cover from the famous movie Chinese Connection where he goes and just demolishes the Japanese school. And as you open it up, you got a picture here of Bruce from Fist of Fury. And if you open it up a little further, you got a nice image of Bruce Lee here in the Japanese school once again. And as you open it up one more time to display the poster inside, we come across this beautiful poster of Bruce Lee from Chinese Connection where he's throwing one of the students, about to throw one of the students through the air in that famous iconic Japanese school scene. Let me know if this was your favorite movie in Chinese Connection or was it the battle with Petrov? or Suzuki at the end of the film. Which one did you guys enjoy most? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's move on to the final issue. And here we are, issue number 40. The incredible cover of Bruce Lee from Game of Death in the iconic yellow tracksuit with the yellow chucks. And as you open this baby up, you have Bruce here in these photos of him wearing the brown kung fu outfit, which were just some of my favorite. Obviously, they're publicity shots that he did against this uh, wall on the island of Enter the Dragon. Uh, there's quite a few in this series. And then if you open it up a little further, you come across a few more nice images of Bruce Lee here from Game of Death and a nice Casual shot of him up top with the suit and tie on. And to open up this magazine and see the beautiful poster in the final issue, issue number 40. Let's see what the editors graced us with. And I know Game of Death is some of your favorites. And here we go. We got a beautiful shot of Bruce from Game of Death in the iconic yellow jumpsuit with the yellow chucks. And there you have it, guys. Issue number 40. So far, we went through the first 40 issues of the Kung Fu Monthly magazines that came out of the United Kingdom. We still have four episodes to go to get through all 79 issues, so stay tuned for the other episodes coming soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and for those of you who are new to the channel, please remember to subscribe and hit the like button below. And once again, Charles Damiano from the Bruce Lee Collection, as always saying, have fun collecting, and I'll see you guys next Friday. Take care, guys.